Hi there, and welcome to Pipeline 2023. I'm Dan Schmidt, Product Manager over Precision Fastening Tooling here at Milwaukee Tool, and I'm excited to announce today the new to world M18 Fuel Controlled Torque Impact Wrench with Torque Sense. Now these products enable our users to have industry leading torque repeatability, giving them confidence in their installation and customizable reporting. That, along with the repeatability, allows you, our end users, to be able to speed up your install process up to 3x, which can be very demonstrable. Diving into that, I want to talk through today with you the solar user who we focused on for these frustrations that we're addressing, the processes that they're currently completing and why they're so troublesome, and why TorqueSense is the solution to address their frustrations. So, when I mentioned solar, you were probably thinking of what we traditionally know as solar, which is roof mounted. These are generally fixed to your roof, right? And uh, contrast to utility scale solar, which I have here to my left, those panels do not track with the sun. So, on these sites that we've done a majority of our research, <clears throat> we follow and are understanding the applications of these setups in order to help improve the productivity of our end users. On these sites, they're getting larger and larger by the year, potentially having millions of bolts that all need to be torqued down to a specific value. In order to do that and prove it, we know that you are adding a lot of wasted labor in order to have that risk burned down. What does that process currently look like? Right now, currently a two-step process is being employed by yourselves on the job site using just a standard impact wrench and a manual click wrench. And before we demo that for you today, I want to talk through the setup that we're using in front of me. I have two joints here, one being a standard joint with a torque transducer in the middle to tell me my torque level that I'm getting to, and then a more job site representative joint that has a nylock nut. And what that can simulate for us is variability that we know you are gonna see on the job site. That could be from part to part misalignment, parts being damaged on the job site, or the environment affecting the hardware. Things like your threads getting gummed up or a coating being on too thick on your hardware. So, demoing the two-step process, Going to use just a standard impact wrench now. So using a standard impact wrench, I'm left to guess at when I need to pull my finger off of the trigger. I could be counting in my head, I could be watching the amount of rotations that my socket does, but either way, it's not repeatable. After that, I'm coming through with my manual click wrench, my second crew that you guys have coming through in order to audit and see and ensure that my application is to spec. Now, using a click wrench properly takes a bit of finesse and understanding of the system. It requires that you work slowly. Unfortunately, you have a million applications you need to get through as quickly as you can, and not only are you touching everything a million times, but you're touching it another million times with your click wrench. So this is a lot of wasted labor that we see, and this process has been identified as the main culprit of productivity losses on the utility scale solar site. Now, you, our end users, have been trying to find a solution that helps address that. And what options are really available to you right now? Well, first, you could try assembly tooling. That tooling though tends to be extremely expensive, so it's not feasible to purchase for a lot of you, and those toolings are not durable enough for the job site. So we need a tool that can last. The other possibility would be to use a programmable torque wrench. These torque wrenches utilize blow counting sensors in order to basically count one, two, three, four, five, and understand exactly when I hit impact 100 that I'm gonna shut off. 
I'm gonna demo that with you today to show its repeatability. First, I'll remove. Impacting down to 100. See my tool automatically shuts off, gets me close to, but you can see even in this instance, the tool was not repeatable enough to get to where I wanted to uh, and prove that I'm at my spec. Now if we introduce even additional variability into the application, we'll see how this tool falls woefully short of meeting your needs. Now you see blow counting tools are repeatable somewhat, but not adaptable. In this second job site representative joint, the competition was not even able to close it. And if you weren't paying attention as you quickly move through your applications throughout the day, you might not even notice that you have this risk on your job site. So if the competition doesn't have a good enough solution what does that leave you with? Well, we've specifically developed con the controlled torque impact wrenches with Torque Sense to address these frustrations and improve the productivity of your crews on a day-to-day -day basis. Within Torque Sense, within the impact, there are two new proprietarily designed sensors that are new to world. These sensors are constantly collecting data when you are using the tool, feeding that to a torque control algorithm that utilizes machine learning to basically understand the fingerprint of your application. Once understood, the tool is repeatable for as long as you want it to be at that setting. Let's demo that today. And show you how it performs. Prior to you all arriving, I set this up at 100 foot-pounds. So I get a green light, my tool's telling me that I completed my application. And with the technology enabled via Torque Sense, I can be confident that I'm within my spec window, which in this case is 85 to 115 foot-pound range, targeting 100 foot-pounds. Now if we get away from our easy joint and move over to our job site representative joint, we can see how the tool is not only repeatable, but also adaptable. So even though there was prevailing torque and difficulty in the beginning of that application, the controlled torque impact was still able to overcome that and reach your spec quickly and efficiently. So if properly implemented, that repeatability can give our users a lot of confidence in order to take that two-step process down to a one-step process. Taking your two million applications and allowing you only have to touch each application once doing one million. Now, it may seem small, but when you add that up and compound it over how massive these sites are, that adds up to potentially millions of dollars that you could be saving just by implementing this tool into your process. Now, not only right are they repeatable, but the other big factor that we are delivering to you, our users, is digital reporting with these controlled torque impact wrenches. Right now on the site, in order for you to prove that you've completed your application to spec, you are required to do pen and paper records and then turn that into your various stakeholders. We're trying to automate that and allowing you to pull data from the tool, all of your application data off, filter and format on our OneKey website as you so choose, and then ship that off electronically to your job site stakeholders. Further automating and making a more efficient use of the labor that you do have on your site. With that, wrapping up, I wanna say our compact impact wrench has a working torque range of 50 to 150 foot-pounds, and our mid-torque controlled torque impact wrench has a working range of 50 to 250 foot-pounds. Both of these tools will be launching in Q4 of this year, and if you have questions on pricing, I recommend you talk to your preferred local distributor to learn more. Thank you very much.